Let's say you want to send out an HTML email and decide to code up your HTML like normal, complete with fancy CSS floats and positioning. And when you check it through the web browser, it looks great. So you decide to send it off to your thousands of subscribers, only to find out that in many email clients, it looks terrible. Yeah, don't do this. Thankfully, there are many articles on HTML email best practices that are only a Google away. Take this one on NetTest Plus, for example. Uh, one important point that it brings up is to use tables for your layout instead of CSS. So that means you'll have to say goodbye to your beautiful divs because it's time to switch to tables. There we go. It's not nearly as pretty, but it will get the job done. Another important point is to use inline styles because many web clients will strip out whatever is inside of the head tag. So this means whatever CSS you do end up using, make sure to move it out of the style tag and into the HTML itself so it's directly in line. Now this can be a headache to do and maintain. Thankfully, there are some tools that help out with this. A MailChimp provides a web app where you can just paste in whatever HTML code with a styling and then choose convert it, and it will move all the CSS in line here directly into the HTML. Now, if you're sending HTML email from Rails, there are some tools to help do this automatically. One is a gem called Premailer Rails 3, and this uses the Premailer gem. Another gem that will do this is Rody, which is a fork of the mail style gem. Now, both Rody and Premailer are very simple to set up, but let me show you how in a new Rails app. So I'll create a new Rails app from scratch here. I'll just call it Mail It and then go into there, and then generate a new mailer. I'll call it newsletter mailer, and I'll give it a, an email called weekly. And you can see that generated the mailer files for us here. So here's what that newsletter mailer looks like with that weekly action. And I'll make some adjustments here so that I can uh, assign the email address by just passing it through here as an argument. And I'll set the subject as well here to say uh, Railscasts weekly. Now there's already a text template available that's going to be rendered out, and it's always good to pass in a text version, a plain text version of your HTML email. So I'll just paste in a plain text version of the HTML email that I have. We also wanna make an HTML version, so it will be called weekly.html.erb. And so I'll just paste in this HTML into here. And notice I'm doing this uh, styling through a style tag in the head here, which is all going to move, be moved in line automatically by either Premailer or Rody. And I can also have the option of doing an external style sheet if I want with a normal style sheet link tag, and that will auto automatically be moved in line as well. So for this to happen, we have to add either of those gems to the gem file here. I'll just append it to the bottom. So for Premailer, you could call a Premailer Rails 3. And if you want to use this gem, what you should do is also add either Nokogiri or Hpricot into here as well because it uh, uses either one of those solutions. I've had more success with hpricot for Premailer. But here in this episode, I'm just going to be using the uh, Rody gem here. And finally, in order to test this out in the development environment, I need to configure some mail settings in the development config file here. I'll just paste in some code for doing this. Um, I'm setting several things here, such as the default URL option. I'm setting it to my domain. Um, I'm telling it to raise delivery errors, so that way if we have some trouble delivering that we can see what the error is. And I'm setting SMTP delivery, and I'm using Gmail for the SMTP delivery here. Um, notice I'm using environment variables for the username and password, so I can do this behind the scenes, but um, you can just set those in directly here. All right, now that our mailer is set up, let's try this out. I'll run the bundle command here to install the gems and then start up the Rails console. Now when you do this, you might get this warning uh, inside of the CSS parser gem. There's not much you can do about this. Uh, hopefully it will be fixed soon, but it shouldn't cause any problems. So in here we can just call newsletter mailer dot weekly and then pass it an email address. I'll use a railscast.example at gmail.com account and uh, just call deliver on this. And that way it will generate the, the email and deliver it. And you can see that email here, and it looks great. Now be sure to check out the documentation for these gems for more information, because I didn't cover everything here. For example, in the Rody gem, you can pass in a CSS option into the mail method to specify which files it should inline into HTML. Pretty cool. 
Well, that wraps up this episode on sending HTML email and automatically inlining the CSS through Rails. Hope you found this useful. In the pro episode this week, I will show you how to set up your Rails app to receive email using the Mailman Gem. This way your users will be able to send email to your Rails app and interact through that. It's really easy to set up with a POP3 account like I show here. To watch that episode and all other pro and revised episodes, just head on over to railscast.com pro and then sign up there for just $9 per month.